Hi there folks and welcome back to the channel and today we are going to have a look at a watch from a micro brand from the uh, the fair city of London uh, namely the Camden district and hence the name the Camden watch company um, what we've got here is a, a pilot style watch um, it does come in an outer box which is this one here and um, I, I've taken it out of I've taken that box out of that box because it's a bit of a nightmare to get out. So anyway, once you get into it, this is what you get. There's your your box, just a standard cardboard box. It's quite quite nicely done with that kind of silver text on on the top there. And I've just realised I'm reviewing a box. It's a box. And uh, then we get to the watch, which is the bit that you want to see. Uh, you also get uh, in here. You have a uh, warranty card for 12 months, um, which is signed, and there's uh, there's also an instruction manual in there. Um, but as you can see, we have a pilot style watch, so we will just get that off of the uh, off of its cushion, and then we'll uh, we'll get into this. Now, this is the one that they call um, it's the uh, number 29. Uh, the Type 2, uh, which is pilot inspired, but they get their, um, their the, the range of watches is all numbered and um, it's numbered due to or, or uh, kind of uh, <laughs> to recognize the bus routes that run through London and all of the uh, numbers that you see on their website for their watches are route numbers um, of the of the bus routes. But uh, anyway, the watch. Uh, right, set of sizes for you. We have a case size of 43mm and we have, including the crown, 45.3. Uh, we have a thickness of 8.7mm, so nice and slim. We have a lug to lug of 48mm and a lug width of 22 uh, The head of the watch is all 316L stainless steel with a mixture of uh, brushing and polishing. We'll just uh, zoom in on that. And take a closer look as you can see we've got a nice signed crown the crown is not screwed down uh, it has got some shaping to it it's got like a, a hexagonal shape to the end and then it tapers in I don't know if you can if that catches that on camera at all uh, where it's kind of knurled on the inside so quite a nice shape crown got some nice vertical brushing on the side moving up to uh, some polishing on that fixed bezel and high polish on the uh, the top of the lugs with that little kind of chamfered edge in there and brushed on the inside of the lugs as well so yeah quite a nice finish uh, as far as uh, the, uh, the dial and everything goes we have a uh, sapphire crystal on this one um, and as you can see this is indeed quartz and it is a Swiss quartz, uh, a Ronda, not too sure of the calibre number, uh, but it, uh, it's a, you know, a Ronda quartz. Uh, everything on the dial is printed. You've got a, a minute track around the outside and then you're moving into your Arabics and then it drops down a level, as you can see in there. And then you've got that, uh, that white minute track and uh, the uh, and the seconds markers and uh, the seconds hand does actually meet all the markers and we have the uh, Camden watch company and their uh, their logo at the 12 o'clock and down at the six o'clock position we have a date complication and uh, it's you know, the same as uh, any other any other watch so you pull it out to the first position to do your date pull it out to the second position the movement hacks and then you can change the time and we'll roll that around to midnight have a look where that change is that's mid midnight as near as makes no difference so yep that's pretty good uh, there is a water resistance on this of 50 meters uh, which is uh, ample yeah, it's, uh, you're, you're, you're not going to go swimming with something like this on after all I mean pilot style uh, it's uh, and because it's quite thin you know it's uh, it kind of double up quite well as a dress watch uh, if we flip it over and have a look on the back we have the Camden watch company Swiss movement sapphire crystal all stainless steel case water resistant to 50 meters and uh, over here is your model which is the 29 type two and uh, we have here established with the roman numerals for 2013 and uh, down here we have the motto of camden town which is not 
for one but for all uh, which is actually quite a nice touch uh, no quick release on the on the strap uh, the strap that it comes on is actually really nice it's nice quality as you can see it's genuine leather plenty of adjustment holes uh, I'm on about the fourth one so there's plenty of room there to get that up to probably eight and a half inch wrist um, and then moving up to the other side of that we have a single sliding keeper a fixed keeper and then we have a uh, kind of a semi semi brushed or satin brushed uh, clasp at the end there uh, with uh, with the Camden watch company logo uh, so yeah the leather strap is quite nice um, I think that uh, you know generally speaking it's a it's a nicely done watch and uh, you know some people can't get past the fact that you know it's a quartz you know that's fine quartz isn't for everybody but as a grab and go watch that actually looks as good as this one and you know, you've got some decent specs with your swiss movement and your sapphire crystal uh yeah i think it's uh, it's a bit of a belter uh, there is some loom on this um oh before we get into that i should mention that there they are automatic versions of the number 29 that are available not this particular style uh, but if you head over to their website and take a look uh, this one retails at uh, 190 gbp and the automatics are, are from i think 340 ish um so yeah uh, and they run the nh35a but uh, yeah this one it's yeah definitely quartz but it is swiss uh, so that kind of makes up for the fact it's quartz, I guess. So we'll give this a bit of a, uh, a charge with the loom. Now, if memory serves, the hands are very good. And the uh, indices don't last a huge amount of time. So we'll just pop that down, drop the lights, and there we go. And I think it's quite cool that they've got the Camden logo is also loomed. I think it actually it looks fantastic at night. Um, now, the, uh, to, the, to the naked eye, uh, from where I'm sat at the moment, those indices are quite, quite, uh, you know, quite dim in comparison, certainly, to the, uh, to the hands. Now, obviously, you know, it's the hands that you, you want to be able to tell the time with. And they do pretty much last through most of the night uh, whereas the indices not so much um, but yeah I mean you can see it's now starting to fade out on the camera um, but yeah pretty cool and especially like I said that Camden logo I really like that that's uh, that's kind of loomed up something a bit different I think um, so we'll move back out again uh, so yeah I think um, you know it's uh, uh, it's a nice it's a nice watch it's a great great grab and go watch and because it's uh, it is kind of a, a, a UK based company um, and you know I think uh, I think they're doing some pretty cool stuff uh, you know there's uh, like I said they've got various designs a lot of them uh, they do some very kind of minimalistic ones as well but definitely go and check the website out I'll uh, I'll leave a link in the description somewhere so you can go and find them so you know if you want to go and check them out you can do that but uh, definitely definitely worth a look and yeah I quite like this yeah really cool it's very comfortable on the wrist would I recommend it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, I think, possibly a little bit on the pricey side at 190 I think, if I'm honest, I would probably see this. I mean, Swiss Movement Sapphire Crystal, you know, 140 150 maybe, I think, uh, would be possibly... Uh, where it where i would think it would sit but uh yeah there we go uh the uh, the camden watch company number 29 type 2 pilot inspired so yes if you like this kind of content please leave me a thumbs up to this video and uh please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell fire a comment down below let me know what you think of this and uh, any other watches you'd like to see on the channel uh, i've got one or two coming up uh, which i've got my eye on which people have asked for so keep an eye out for those as well but that's it for now thank you very much for watching i'll catch you all in the next video cheers for now